So Muskoka Brewery has something new for us, and I'm quite excited to see what they have in store. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Ruski Brewski Review. And today the beer I have for you is by the Muskoka Brewery up in Bracebridge, Ontario. This is their Ebb and Flow, a style that I've never seen before. A session sour coming in at an immense whopping 2.4% ABV. <laughs> really, 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 really alcoholy and boozy. Watch out, guys. And an unlisted IBUs not listed here on the can. But looking at the can, it looks to be uh, waves of water with ducks, a moose, a beaver surfing on a log. Just a really, really cool can design. Uh, different um, than what they're what what you're used to from Muskoka, but I'm a, I'm a big fan. I love the blue color. I love the uh, the the the. I don't know. It's just it's a very nice looking can. Ebb and flow and a very nice little cursive writing. Let's see what we got. Um, IBUs actually. Let me check that quickly first. Uh, IBUs on the website five. So not super bitter either. Let's pour it up into my Muskoka Brewery. Uh, IPA glass because it's the only glass I have from the Skoka Brewery and because it's a really cool glass. Looking at the beer, it is a very, very light pale yellow color. Um, a little, it's very, very ever so slightly haze, maybe more of just a chill haze, but ever so slightly hazy. Nice little bit of a white head on top. Nice looking beer. Let's have a smell. Oh, whoa, that has a lot of, whoa, that's a nice aroma. You get a little bit of sourness through it. Not a lot, though, just a nice little touch. Get some lemon, lime, citrus, some grapefruit. A little, just some nice, like, tropical aromas as well. Maybe some pineapple in there. Just smells really f like refreshing and really crisp and something that would just quench your thirst and it's making me thirsty so let's have a sip guys mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. I actually don't mind that it has a very nice very minimal souriness to it a nice little light touch with very just crisp and nice like semi hoppy or like flavors that lemon lime is there it's a little bit of like sit other citrus note going on in here but it's refreshing and it is thirst quenching this is exactly what I needed that's really good and sessionable 2.4% you can drink these for days that's awesome cheers everybody let's keep on drinking Mm. The drinkability on this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, no, very light tropical fruits. Just crisp. Mm -hmm. The mouthfeel on this is just, that's where it's at. It's crisp, it's refreshing as all hell. And the flavors are really nice. The souriness, the bit of lemon lime, light, light breadiness on the finish, a little bit of tropical aromas, a little bit of hops going on. It's not super sweet, which is really, really nice too. It's definitely a, more like a semi-dry uh, sort of beer. But wow. Just oh so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It quenches your thirst. But leaves you wanting more. Oh, I said, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a happy camper with this ebb and flow. So let's read the can, see what it has to say for itself. So Muskoka Brewery, ebb and flow, session sour, 2.4% alcohol by volume, 5 IBUs. On the back, we have a description ebb and flow, session sour. With a nod to our shimmering Muskoka lakes and endless shorelines, the session sour is natural for those long, lazy days. 
citrusy and tart up front, it's an easy drinking quencher offering a light bodied finish. Crack a can and go with the flow. Check your date code as our beer is best fresh, a result of our pure, natural, unfiltered brewing process. Handcrafted with no preservatives. On the side here we have ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast, lactobacillus, and lactobacillus. Uh, I mean, Bracebridge, Ontario. And on the bottom, freshest by April 27th, 2019. Mm -hmm. It's called an extra light beer. Just like how they have light beer and strong beer and extra strong beer. This is an extra light beer. Mm. And goddamn, this is perfect. You know, this is absolutely perfect. Because you can, you know, you can have one. And not worry worry about any uh, drinking and driving laws, which is great. Um, you can you can have one and not be worried that you're gonna get inebriated really quickly. It's just a very easygoing, thirst quenching, delicious, delicious beer. And I'm 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 quite shocked. It's just damn damn good. I was a little worry weary about this. Two point four percent session sour it might be a little weird. Might be a little boring. But it just goes to show you don't need a lot of alcohol or alcohol doesn't determine how great of a flavor you get from beer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Moving over to the website now, muskokabrewery.com. And Muskoka always has a lot of information. Um, ba -ba 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 it has a pretty, 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 um, pretty similar, more shortened down version of description from the can on the website. Where to find it? Beer store, LCBOs, grocery stores, the tap room at the at Muskoka Brewery, and all the hop shop online. It's available in the Tall Boy cans, 473 mils. Style is a session sour. Availability is year round, which is awesome. ABV 2.4, IBU 5. Color is a pale straw. Year brewed was first brewed in 2018. It's 131 calories. Has 3.8 grams of carbs per 100 grams. The flavor is refreshing and tart with notes of fresh citrus, balanced with a light wheat character. The aroma is bursting with tart grapefruit, lime, and juicy tropical fruits from the fragrant citra and mosaic hops. The finish is a light bodied and effervescent, or carbonated, a dry finish to cleanse the palate. The malts that are used are two row pale, wheat, and dextra pills. The hops are citra and mosaic, and food pairings. Finally, salt and pepper dry rub chicken wings. Oh, I want those fish and chips. I had some today. A mixed green salad with vinaigrette. Not a big fan of vinaigrette, but great, great food pairings on this beer. Mm -hmm. I gotta pour a little bit more up. 2.4%. Ooh. Let's do this, boys. Let's do this, boys and girls. Let's get hammered. Kidding. It's 2.4%. You're not getting hammered if you have one. You're gonna be fine. Finally, moving over to Untapped. Evan Flo has been given a 3.26 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of just under 900 ratings. This beer is great. It has a great place in the beer world. If you like your sours, but don't like them in your face, this is the beer for you. If you like beer, but don't want a lot of alcohol in your beer, this is the beer for you. If you're looking for a thirst quenching beer, that's easy going, light in body, light in color, but big on flavor, this is for you. This is a damn good beer. I'm very, very excited about this, and I'm very shocked about this beer. It took me by surprise, but realistically, it is a Muskoka brewery. They always put out some bang on beers. So cheers everybody on the final sip, and cheers to you Muskoka brewery. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Solid, solid stuff. It's just, oh wow, I'm shocked. It's, it's delicious. 
It's delicious, it's easy going, it's thirst quenching, it just hits all the right notes. Big fan of this beer. I gotta put, oh man, I gotta put us all at 9.5 out of 10. Oh, I'm shocked. Amazing. I didn't think I would really like a beer that this that had this low of alcohol and a session sour. I didn't know what to really expect, but that's the best thing when you're caught off guard and, you know, taken by surprise. This is awesome. Babe, you know, big fan of this. As for presentation, great presentation. Love the can design. Love all the information on the can. All it's really missing is IBUs. But the website makes up for that and adds everything else you want to know. Food pairings, malt, hops, and yeast, all the characteristics, calories, all that fun stuff. So I'm really not going to let the loss of IBUs on the can be, you know, a big deal. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Great stuff. Well, guys, with all that said, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Whiskey, would be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Whiskey. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.